Thanks for tuning in to the 45th Annual Parcells Holiday Bazaar Virtual Edition. Don't forget to go to our website, www.parcellsbazaar.com, for links to shop at 50 vendors that have amazing handcrafted goods from around the area. There's also links to our partner businesses that are supporting the PTO's mission. And most importantly, there's a link to the silent auction page where you'll find a number of amazing baskets made up of donations from around the community for you to bid on. The auction will end at 4 p.m. on Saturday, December 5th, but the vendor pages will stay up the rest of the month. That means you've got the rest of the year to please support these amazing local small businesses and also thank you for your support of the Parcells PTO. Jim Williams is a self-taught impressionist realist painter, depicting a style that's partly derived from the study of classical 19th and 20th century American and European artists. Jim worked 23 years as a social worker in foster care and delinquency prior to his retirement from the state of Michigan. Since his retirement, he's been an instructor creator of inner city art programs for youth at Grandale Presbyterian Church, All Saints Community Center, and Southwest Presbyterian Church in Detroit. According to Jim, painting historical and current landmarks is a mission that preserves an important interpretive record of where we have It is not his intention to paint a subject to exact representation, but to define those themes as recognizable using a balanced approach and a personal reflection of time and place. Broadly speaking, it's his intention to portray an experience related to the subject. This may include a whimsical element within the setting. He finds the viewer responds to this in a relatable manner. Jim's paintings are oil on canvas. Each year brings a further exploration of the media he employs. He uses a combination of brush and knife techniques. His studio is attached to his home. Layering and glazing techniques are employed to create subtle or contrasting elements as needed. Artist photos and research of the Burton Historical Library have helped in the creation of some themes. Ben. Layering and glazing techniques are employed to create subtle or contrasting elements as needed. Artist photos and research of the Burton Historical Library have helped in the creation of some themes. Jim's work is a continual growing process which gives him personal pleasure and an opportunity to learn new methods of painting in an effort to define places and events. Oh. Jim Williams here for the Parcells Craft Show. I have created this little presentation of a few things on my display that normally would appear at the show. And I want to just go through a little bit of this. Paintings are oil paintings, generally on canvas. And a few of the newer paintings I have are included here. The Little Caesars Arena, which I did earlier this year, $900. On top here we have Moonlight Cruise Babalo in St. Clair, which is about $400. Uh, I have a painting of Neuschwanstein Castle down below. It's always a subject of interest to people. Although that's not Detroit. Most everything else I have is related to our Detroit or Michigan region. I um, also want to point out that the small ones are called Gicle Canvas. They're $25 without a framing, five by seven. And up in the top corner, you may notice here, a combination of four stadiums, Detroit, uh, Detroit Tiger um, Stadium, Joe Lewis, Comerica or Palace, Ford Field, and others that are at the website. And you can sort of design those as you want, and I'll try to create it the way you prefer. In the print bin, I have lithographs of a larger size for subjects I've done. This has been a popular one, by the way. This is a Port Heron in the fog with a Fitzgerald coming through the bridge. And look, there I have some larger print editions here or the 9 by 12 series, which are 20, uh, 
and they include a large number of the same paintings I've done of Detroit. Also, some whimsical things such as Harry Potter, the Hogwarts Castle, uh, the Shire from Lord of the Rings, and some other items. Grand Hotel. These are sold at the hotel. And you notice on the board, I have one that's framed in the smaller size. I have a new hotel painting also available, 16 by 20. And if anybody wants to have me send them that attachment for a review, let me know. Again, the website, jimwilliamsartist.com. I also want to bring out to you a second, a few of these samples of the small ones again. Harry Potter, uh, Santa at Hudson's department store. Uh, again, uh, Little Caesars. Then very popular is Plymouth Ice Festival. Hudson's, the real Christmas store. Again, these come sealed like this to you in an envelope. And there's a story on the back about the subject I've done. There's a lot of other things that are, uh, shall we say, a little different. Uh, St. Clair Inn. A little bit of the ordinary Gross Point Yacht Club. Uh, the Palace, which is no longer with us, of course. Uh, I have a Downton Abbey theme. So again, all these different varieties, plus Chicago subjects, Wrigley Field and many others are at the website. Let me know if you're interested in something of a certain size or of some type of framing. <laughs> The smaller ones you see are usually around $45. Some paint, some frames will be a little bit more than that with everything completed for around $45 as a rule with mahogany, gold, white, black framing, if you like that idea. So there's many possibilities and I hope this is a good presentation that gives you an overview of what I've done and what is available and uh, again, a few of the original paintings are here too. Um, comp are often done a little bit differently. Here's a five combination. Again, stories on the back. So you can have ideas done the way you prefer to like. Also right now, you have uh, Joe Lewis with Little Caesars. These are already timely. Or you could have also Olympia included in a threesome. Let me know what's interesting to you. I think that kind of rounds it out. Hopefully this is a presentation that makes some sense to you. Just drop me a note, send me an email at lakeviewboulevard at comcast.net or look at the website and I hope this is helpful. Thank you so much for allowing us and uh, for, for parcels putting this together. Thank you so much. Thank you for supporting Jim Williams' art.